So to those who don't know, there was some uh, Broadway boxing that recently took place from New York. Uh, it was shown live on uh, Fight TV and the main event was uh, this fight between McQuan, McQuan Williams and Clarence Boot. Um, Lou DiBella Promotions or Lou DiBella Entertainment uh, was the uh, promoter of this event. It was like $20, I believe, on Fight TV. And uh, yeah, I know the picture you guys are looking at is not the best picture. Uh, I can't find any footage of this fight or or any pictures of the fight, at least at the time I'm making this video. Um, it's the best I could. It's from a clip that I found on social media. Uh, but here's a better picture of them at the weigh-ins. Uh, and, and yeah, the fight, uh, based off the clip that I saw and based off how people react to this fight, looks like it was a pretty convincing win from uh, Williams, who outboxed uh, Clarence Boot, winning this fight by unanimous decision, with all three judges having it in favor of Williams, 99-90, Um so yeah, it's a good win for Williams, who now improves to 19 and 0, one draw, eight wins coming by way of Nakar TKO, remaining undefeated from Connecticut. To those who don't know, um, and yeah, it's probably his toughest fight on paper. This fight against Clarence Boot, just because Clarence Boot has been in there against some decent opposition in the past, lost most of those fights though. Clar Clarence Boot, I remember what like I'm not necessarily watching it, but definitely reading about it when he fought the Dashev and Sergey Lipinets. Um, Rest in peace, by the way, to Maxim Dadashev. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know, um, Maxim Dadashev passed away after his loss to Sobriel Matias uh, back in 2019. Just another reminder how dangerous this sport is. Um, but yeah, Clarence Boot uh, has been in there against some tough opposition. He always falls short, though, whenever he fights somebody big. And here, once again, he fought a young, hungry, undefeated McQueen. Williams and uh, he ended up falling short again um, but yeah it's, uh, Dev Williams is definitely somebody to keep an eye on currently we rank number 74 out of 2,000 fighters on box rec and number 21 in the USA uh, it's undefeated for a reason but uh, if Lou DiBella can keep up, keep him busy and uh, keep him active and put the right people in front of him then uh, I'm sure we will see uh, Williams in bigger and better fights um, but yeah uh, I don't know how they would make some money from these events uh, Lou DiBella. I'm not sure if he's even making money from these events because nobody's really talking about them. Um, not a lot of the you know media or, or fans are really talking about. It's like the really, really, really hardcore, hardcore boxing fans are the ones that are paying attention. Heck, I didn't even make any videos about this fight until now because um, I, I I just realized that it was on Fight TV. I didn't even realize it was on Fight TV. So anyway, I guess if you want to wa really watch this fight, I think. Uh, fight TV has an option to to buy the fight still but obviously you'll watch it on replay so anyway if you saw the fight let me know what did you think about it in the comments thanks for listening and watching and like always have a great day all right thanks